What's going on, everybody? It's your boy John for the Gamer here. Welcome to episode 269 of the Pokemon Saga Log. Uh, today's episode is going to be mainly focused on a gem. Oh my god, gem number three. Anyways, I'm really nervous. We love being nervous for the gym, guys. It's like, it gives me so much hope and so much skill to like almost die every five seconds. Woo! Anyways, the level cap is around 30. So here's where the team is standing. Because obviously they're going to get to level 31, but it's okay. It's whatever. We have Leafeon to want. We have Fruition. We have Turant. We have Spoopy. We have Yay. And Dollar General. Honestly, the movesets hadn't changed, so I didn't need to go through the movesets. But yeah, so that is our team at the current moment. We got Super Potions Galore. We are set to go actually i should see if we can buy we probably can't no no, no. i'm not even gonna worry about it because we probably can't and if we can then whatever i'm risking it for the biscuit baby anyways um also we have this thing called a bike now john so you can get past this game even faster honestly i cannot believe where we are in this game in this story this gem right here is going to essentially knock us out of the introductory section and it's just like whoa what is going on guys i cannot believe it how in the world are we here like it's a lot of that kind of stuff so is this our first battle with marnie we might have our first battle with marnie here um challenger john right out giving it your all as of even as of late huh hey help with something for a second i want to see if i'm ready to take the next gym challenge sure go for it wicked you got some fighting you huh yes we do uh, i'm so happy we get to fight you this is our first battle with marnie our first time we get to hear this theme um in saga lock and i'm hoping that this fight goes well hence why i was saying we probably are going to be over level we're going to be over the 30 cap um but again i can't turn off the damn experience share so or else i would have already i'm sorry um slowbro galarian form hopefully no oh y'all the episode um that just came out of pokemon platinum oh my god the fucking slowbro excuse my language i'm pissed and triggered and angry and upset probably more upset than joy is no i'm joking joy's way more upset over it i would be too this dang slow bro needs to die simply because of the dumb stuff that it did to Joy. I protect my friends, and you destroyed it. So, you're about to get whapped. Slapped across the face 3,000 times, because that is exactly what you deserve, you slow bro. I don't even know if I'm wearing a black shirt. I don't think I am. No, it's blue. It's Seahawk. It's whatever. I'm not ready for work at all. Good job, me. Um... Glad I paid attention. Uh, yes. Dude, the music in this generation, though. Why is it actually so good? Like, that is one thing this generation did right is their music. Their music director, they need to keep this music director, whoever this is. Because they did so good. Uh, um... Like, and every song matters. That's why I want to keep my headphones on like this. And that's why I prefer to record in the daytime with this series. Because I can just listen to the music, talk as loud as I want to. Not give a single care what's going on. Except for the fact that I want to have fun with you guys. So, yeah. This is why. This is exactly why. Because, like, battles like this. And we get the gym leader theme in this episode, too. Like, gosh dang. We get both good things. Anyways. Riolu. I don't know what to do against Riolu. Um, I think we just play it safe um, and go to Fruition. Because Fruition just needs levels up anyways, and if we can use Fruition as much as possible... This is where using Fruition is okay, because you he's the one that needs the experience. Or they are, excuse me. The one that needs the experience, so that's what I should use. Oh, hi. You're level th is that, like, actually the ace? Okie dokie. I mean, I see you. Um... I was, okay, I was looking back on the FAP League um, a little bit before I started recording, and my first thought was what Buff named it, um, which, 
Oh my god, Buff. I love Buff a lot. Buff is amazing, guys. If you guys don't know who Buff is, you need to check Buff out. Um, I almost like am half tempted to just put his link in the description below because he deserves it, but gosh dang it. Why, why Buff? Why why is that actually the first thing that came to my head when I saw Ryolu? Uh, we, Joey and I talked about it. It was just things that happen that kind of ever change your perspective on a Pokemon. That's one of them. Yep. Simply put, one of the one of the circumstances that changed my look forever on Riolu. Uh poor Richard. You know, he could never hold up to all the balls that he was having to deal with. Ah, uh, oh my. Milky Mother, what are you doing? Just, I need you to help me, Milky Mother. I need you to, uh, not do that. Um, honestly, though, here's the positive. Positivity aside, we have, we're gonna have a Venusaur by the end of this episode, which means I have to totally have change. But it's fine. It's okay. Well, maybe not, because if I beat Marnie and just jump, st shoot straight into, um, Mr. Kabu, then I will have a layout change, and I can do it on my off time. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> That's 100% what I'm going for. Yes! Oh my god! I actually called that! <laughs> I for I had a feeling that Rain of Shenanigans was about to happen, so I swapped my move just in the dang case, because we were talking about FAP League. Oh my god. See, pre-preparation and pre-planning matters, okay? Okay, it matters a lot, okay? And if you don't do your pre-preparation and pre-planning, it is your own fault for failing. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. <laughs> that that gave me an, like, an adrenaline boost right there. Just uh, like seeing that happen in real time, seeing the disable, I was like, yo! Like, it, it, yeah, it felt great, okay? That felt really good. Hatterene. We've been seeing a lot of this guy lately. I'm wondering if we're going to get a G-Max version of this, and I'll be scared if we do, because I don't really want to. But fine, but it's fine, but it's fine. Also, sadly, I'm going to have to record the gym later at night, because I procrastinated watching my FAP match, okay? I watched the match with Troll again, just because I wanted to see kind of how everything worked out, and like... And then, of course, buff, too. Like, I was watching a bunch of them. But I remember just the week one, and it was a crazy week in the situation. Um, and so it was like, I want to see that match again because of how insane it was. Um, and then, of course, buff's matches were absolutely ridiculously insane as well. I mean, the 1-0 was in uh, our series. Crazy. If you want to talk about crazy, you talk about buff and I going head-to-head. -head. Just simply put, like, anyways, enough talking about that because, well, I probably should be talking about something that's more conducive to the game. Um, but, honestly, what's what I find insane about this situation and the way that this team is, is that, I mean, this is episode 169. You guys all know that I said it already. 169. I had to look back because I thought this was going to be the kill episode. No, your boy has another episode to go. And I'm like, oh, I got myself ahead of pace. Didn't expect that one. Uh, no, like straight up did not think that I was going to get myself ahead of pacing. Um, so I'm happy that I did. But like also, okay, me. I think a lot of that and why I feel like I'm ahead of pace is because I had a longer episode getting to Nessa and doing that Nessa challenge before fighting Nessa. We're staying in. What are we doing? Bro. It's no fun if things ended yet. This is why I'm going to fight with my Azelf that's not even my ace Pokemon. Okay. Now, Azelf is specially attacking. So, I mean, it could have been scary, but it's not. Bye, Azelf. Have a great day. <sighs> yeah, okay. I mean, we, we're we definitely not going to be able to do Kabu's fight in this episode. Like, not... I, rephrase. We're not going to be able to do Kabu's fight in this section because I have to go to work and work some and it's not really I don't want to but I have to so 
I guess I'd better go get to bed and rest up for tomorrow. You better get sleep too. You and your spiked boots of death. Gosh, I would never be able to wear high heels like that. I'm sorry, but no. No, no, no. Not happening. The next morning. Morning, John. Morning, Maylene. Or Marnie. Maylene. <laughs> First friend of yours already went off to the gym challenge. Blah, blah, blah. I don't care. Thank you for Kabu's lead card. Hop doesn't matter. You and I can just talk and actually do things because we can, you know, hang out and we can slow a roll. Hop can fail miserably because he's Hop and he's just terrible. And he's going to make that realization. So we'll let him make that realization on his own because, oh my God, he's actually ridiculous. But let's get our gym challenge out of the way because I know that the gym challenge exists, is existent. Um, and I know I don't fight Hop here, right? If I do fight Hop here, I mean, that's good because then I can just do the Hop fight and then take care of Kabu later. But no. No. I figured. <laughs> I was like, I don't think I do. I think I can do the gym challenge now. Now, the way this gym challenge works, I'm hoping that they're considered statics and that they're not gift Pokemon. Because if they're statics, then this would be a much easier process. Kind of, because I'll know that they're fire types, and fire types are bad for my team, but it's okay. Fire type, gym challenge. So basically what happens, and the way this one works, is I have to catch the three Pokemon... Oh, they're actually just sitting out like that. So they're not actually even, um, whatever it's called. Cool. I'm fine with that. The, the gym mission is this. Catching Pokemon earns the most points. Earn five points to clear this gym. Mess gym. Catch the Pokemon in the call grass, you get two. If you beat it, you get one. Think about what your opponents might do and try to best, you try to be take the best action to rack up the points. Yes, your opponents can attack into you. Your opponents can also do any and they're gonna be random also this is where i should lead oh no i'm fine i'm actually totally fine okay sizzlepeed she has a shinx that's fine that's totally chill actually i'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to just use my uh, Pokeball now. And hopefully not have to worry about anything. Ah, crap. Okay. Shell Trap. Aqua Ring. So you're going to go the Preservation Route. Shell Trap hopefully hits into the Shinx. Oh, no. Nobody attacked it, so it didn't matter. Okay. Well, then I'm going to Spore it. Put it to sleep. That way you can't do the shell trap shenanigans and threaten me. Sweet kiss. Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. I'm cool. I'm cool with that actually. If you're not attacking into me, that's fine. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and now go for the uh, the nest ball. It's my last one. It's they're pointless pokeballs now. Um, might as well catch it in the nest ball if we can. Two! Two points. None of these Pokemon count as actual encounters, by the way. So it's gonna be like, oh my gosh, look at this. You caught this. This is your encounter. No, it is not. It does not count as an encounter. Just wanted to point that out, then make sure that was none. Challenge John claims two points. Litwick. Just don't be a dark type. Oh, no. Oh, crap. I'm going to put that Raquin into sleep. 
that thing is more scary. And then I'll get the Litwick, Litwick to sleep now. Because I cannot have that Litwick dying. Because I'll fail the challenge if that Litwick dies. <clears throat> I think that's how that works anyway. I almost want to attack into the Araquanid. But I feel fairly confident in using a Great Ball here. That's good. That's very good. No, I can't add it to the party. It's not even part of my team. So now I just need to kill the next one for victory. Actually, because of that, I just gonna send in yay. Because it's yay. All, uh, I mean, I say that. But how much? How much XP do we need? Oh, 1,000. Yeah, yeah, we just send in yay then. And then we fight Kabu, and then, then, then the world goes round and round. But yeah, we just kill this, because we got the other two caught. And honestly, Vulpix, we love you, but we can't even use you anyway. Oh, cool. She has a Dragonite lead. I'm actually even more fine with that because then I'm not damaging her either and being passive. I don't mind that. Congratulations! You cleared your mission. Leader Kabu's gym mission's like you cleared mission. Li Leader Kabu's gym mission like that. You're positively on fire. Next, you'll be facing Kabu, the leader of the fire gym. Go on. Well, I'll save it right freaking here. But yeah, I love you all so very much for watching. Or I love you all so very much. Oh, I'm like outroing it. I'll see you guys in a minute. It'll be dark time for me, but for you guys, it'll be in a minute. I'm like whole outroing this at 15 minutes in. Hell ma. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, so I sat here debating whether or not I should send in Yay or I should send in Tarant. No second guesses. <laughs> That's, I swear, if my second guessing was real. That would suck. Also, love the fact that I have this dang zit. So right in the best spot ever. Welcome, I am Kabu, the Fire-type Gym Leader. The fact that you are here means you've bested both Milo, the Grass-type, and Nessa, the Water-type. It is quite an accomplishment already. Every trainer at the Pokemon trains hard in pursuit of victory, but that means your opponent is also working hard to win. In the end, the match is decided by which side is unable to unleash their true potential. We'll find out. Wow, Kabu has a dedicated fan base. Excuse me, Kabu. I didn't think you needed a dedicated fan base. You're already a gym leader. It's fine, but it's whatever. It's chill. I really need to turn. Ah. Oh. Oh. Oh no. So we know this thing's ability is ridiculous. We're gonna get by uh, 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 up now. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, this is a problem actually. So, okay, our, our not second guessing ourselves was a good idea because this could have been even a worse circumstance. 
but its move set is ridiculous. Because if I remember correctly, didn't it wasn't it about to learn something from the level one move that like was part of what caused it to die? <sighs> Kabu popping off with heat. I don't even think this is gonna do half. Okay, that did more than half. I'm okay. No, I'm not okay. That's a move that's scary. We don't need scares, guys. We just need surviving. Okay. No! I. Okay, that didn't actually do anything. Okay. I'm gonna go with a 90%, just knowing that it would kill if it hits. Yeah, he's been pretty, pretty good at that lately, which is good, thank goodness. But Doom Desire, we gotta know, is existent. So it's uh, two turns away, or one turn away. Because the activation turn, yeah, it should be like one, two, uh, it should be the next turn that it comes up. Falapple. Oh. Doom Desire's a special attack? Is this where we can use Dollar General? Flapple is fast, though. We gotta know that. Now, I don't expect it to do a lot of damage to the Doom Desire. Even though it's from a Celesteela, we are... It's not typed damage. Oh, crap. It is typed. Ooh, I made a good play then. Um. Oh, I, that's right. I made that same mistake in uh, Alola. Um, because it's typed. It became typed in Generation 5, or 4 or 5. Gosh, is that another one? Oh my god, it is. That's ridiculous. Also, what did we just use? That sounded like Strength Sap. Uh, it was Strength Sap. Fun. This Flapple is going to be a pain in the butt. Good to know. We'll, we'll triple Axel it and see what happens. At half attack... We don't have much attack regardless. <laughs> that is quad effective damage, guys. Oh, okay. It is. It is exactly what I thought. So it is 20. It's 120 base power then, essentially. Wow. That's a high base power move. I'm going to go off with the assumption he heals now. And get that hail up. Might as well. Because he can barely recover as is. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and triple Axel again. Horn Leech. That's another healing move. Ah, this thing is like a stalwart type. Which, I mean, to be fair, if I hit two triple axles, it's totally fine. It should be killed, so. Nice. That's what we needed. Okay. <sighs> what do we got next? Flapple's gone. Dollar General actually came in clutch again. Hydreigon. Hmm, I'm staying in. I feel most comfortable staying in. I kind of wanted to drop a Draco. Or do something on the special end, but I'm going to be careful and play it safe. Even though I really wish I could have used, like, uh, a fresh water or something else. I like the prospect of...
Oh my gosh. Okay. Glad that's not the ace. Uh, that doesn't set me up for a success. Meteor Assault. I have never heard of that move in my life. Um. Hmm. I think then I have to go into um, Tehran. And see what's up here. So I don't have Fairy, which would be very helpful against Hydreigon. What if I can lower it or slow it down? Oh, it must recharge. Dang. I would have loved that knowledge. Okay, what do I want to lower though? Like, what is more important? Because Hale's going to go away. As it should. If we're faster... I still like the prospect of lowering speed for my team. And then strength sapping subsequently. Ooh, that was a crit. Okay, I thought so. That seemed really high. Hydreigon woke up to Dragon Tail me out. So of course it's going to be smart. And of course it's going to crit. Yay. Rock is what it's revealed. So I feel fairly confident shell side, shell side arming this. This team is so wonky, though. Dollar General, look at that level up. Let's go, buddy. Dollar General wants to learn Magic Coat. No. That's dumb. Why are you learning all these psychic moves, buddy? Carvana. That's a spoopy play. I'm so upset, actually. That actually makes me so mad that I had another one. Just chilling. They got it off now, but still. Something gotta put away later. Um, Guava Apple. Ice Shard. That's not bad. That's gonna be like 15 damage. 20. It's a little higher than I thought. But now that we have the sand, this should Oko. Right. It has to. Sorry, I'm a little low. Oh, we got a crit. Nice. There's the spoopy level. Now the sandstorm's gonna be up, which is okay, because our Pokemon actually are okay with that. Jang Mo O. Oh. Yes, that I switch into um, Fruition on. Because Fruition has a sand thing too, doesn't it? No, it's Xerneas that has the other the sand force ability. I was like, I was like, who has it? Okay, and Ace is yet to come out. Ace is the level 27, which I think is coming up soon, right? Yeah, it's next. Okay. Actually, with it being next... Um... Oh, no, we're in a fine spot. We won't, we really won't need Dollar General. Usually, we haven't really needed Dollar General. Um... I swear, if we actually need Dollar General, I'm gonna be mad, but... Okay. What is last? What is last? That's such a key situation right now. The final mon is an ah. Uh, uh oh. Hmm. Yikes! Dark. That's a. Bad, bad mon um, for us to be fighting. I am not a fan of that. Um, oh, I hate that decision making. Because I don't think you can put asleep a Dynamax mon. 
but I've never had the opportunity to test it yet. But it being dark and normal and having no fighting coverage at all is huge. From what I remember though, Tarant is defensive. 98. Tarant is the most defensive on the team, actually by quite a bit. I'm going to go for it. I think the time is now to test this out and see if this is actually a thing. That's light that fire and get your mind moving. Oh boy. I could be making a terrible play resulting in our first Mon dying. Let's just click it. Oh my god. Oh my god, I just clicked it. If this doesn't work, I fudged that bad. If this gets blocked... This is a tough Pokemon. I can't have this get blocked. Oh my god, it's not blocked. Wait, does that mean we can actually just waste Dynamaxing? Oh. Oh, that's a huge development. We can get through this. And we have two of them. Wow, Tawant's value just skyrocketed hard. I'm excited because of other reasons. Sorry. But Tawant's value just skyrocketed so high. Being able to do that and heal himself on these Dynamax Mons. Wow. Because why not drop its attack and heal off of this Mon that is actually really threatening? Because Tawant's not slow, buddy. This man ain't slow at all, but... Holy crap, Ola. It's still asleep. That didn't do... That did minimal damage. So, the with the sand gone... It's gonna wake up. Oh, wow! His entire Dyna got wasted! Wow! He's out of the Dyna. Dude, and that was a max strike waiting to happen. And of course, our girl Ye finishes this off. Great Pokemon and great trainer. No surprise that you won. Here's 4K. And our first evolution of Pokemon Sword. I cannot believe that. I am very thrilled with that development. 
I am often regarded as the first real roadblock for the gym challenge, and yet you defeated me. Clearly, your talent has surpassed my many years of experience. I still have much to learn. I know now that you and your Pokemon will be a fa become a fantastic team, and I'm glad I could battle you today. Let me give you a fire badge as proof that you've defeated me. Now, his team in the normal game is actually rough, so I can understand what he means by that. Like, he's usually a problem and a challenge, and in this case, he wasn't. I see that. John, I figured that if anyone could do it, you and your Needle Queen would be the ones, but still, that match had me right on the edge of my seat. Also, I wish I could have just read that as Ye, that you and Ye would be the ones to do it. Yes, me and Ye are amazing. Challenge John, I see you've done a fine job collecting the gym badges from the grass, water, and fire gyms. Please take this TM to commemorate what you have accomplished here today. will o -wisp. Not a bad move. And take one of our uniforms. It's, it's the same design that Kabu wears. I think you've proven your skill enough to try your hand at the gyms that await you, starting at the, in the city of Hammerlock, head back down into the wild area surrounding the city, and then make your way to Hammerlock. With all the badges we've earned ourselves, I reckon we should all be right, all right, even against the fierce Pokemon that deep that you find deep in the wild area. Let's go find out ourselves. There's a bunch. Of, there's a couple of encounters that we get as well. Um, I have to make sure level wise that everything's okay. Um, before even trying to, like, mess with those encounters. But. Hurry it up, John. Huh? You're the gym leader, but you came all this way to see us off? Oh, I bet you can already tell that I'm the one who will become the next champion, can't you? There are many trainers who never manage to gather three gym badges, and they just give up on the gym challenge altogether. So I make it a point to see off any trainers who are able to defeat me. Whew, we made it. Thank goodness for those flying taxis. John, Hop, congratulations. It's pretty amazing that you two defeated Kabu. Not a lot of gym challenges are able to defeat uh, Kabu. We like to all get together and send them off as a way to show our support. Please allow me to send you off with a proper sporty chant. Hustle, 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 hop. You can do it. You can do it. The gym leaders here you you will face ahead will be all tough opponents, but I believe you'll be able to prevail. Believe in your Pokemon and keep pushing on. Thanks, you all. We're going to keep winning. We've got, we've got to if we want to face off in the Champions Cup after all. Come on, John. Let's head to Hammerlock. Yup. Now we have to go through the wild area and stuff. It's snowing here today, apparently. Hello again, wild area, my old friend. I've come back to you even stronger than before. John, Hammerlock is up this way. You got it? Yeah, but you, got, you better have healed me, huh? And yeah, as you could certainly rush without a single detour, but now that you and I have a few gym patches, we could catch even stronger Pokemon. So I know what I'm doing. I'll be catching myself some amazing Pokemon to fill the next page in the tale of my legend. Don't waste your efforts. It's not like either of you will be able to make it anyway. Through the tough gym through the gym challenge, th the champion really must have been off of his rocker to endorse the likes of you. I mean, it seems Hop can't even throw a Pokeball properly. Oh, rubbish. You make more like you don't know enough to recognize the greatness when you see it. My throws are the greatest. My bro is the finest of champion the world has ever seen. I am not going to listen to you insulting him. How tiresome. Fine, I'll battle you over there. Maybe that will help you finally understand how weak you truly are. You're on then. I know you challenged John to battle in Galarmine too and lost to him there. And I'm his greatest rival. In other words, there's no way you're beating me. All this power rattle about John being and the champion and whatnot. 
Do you not know anything of your own? To sh do you not have anything of your own to show? Catch up, with, catch up with you in the hammerlock. Okay, but I have a feeling you guys didn't heal me, and I'm gonna be triggered. Oh yeah, we have the bike now. That'll help us. Oh no, they did heal. Oh yeah, we should check Spoopy. Spoopy, you have the ability of shell armor, which means you cannot get crit. Thank you for actually having that ability. That is a needed one. That is actually a much needed ability. But yeah, well, I want to make our way kind of in a weird, like, on this episode. But we'll see if that is actually a plausibility or a thing that we can do. Because I wanted to say, if I recall correctly, that it's quite the jaunt to get there. And I don't want to put you guys through that if it's kind of aimless, you know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, maybe. We might be up there. Oh, that was close. Dragapult is just chilling right there. Oh, yeah, we got this. I was thinking not a... And again, that is 100% like me to do. I'm not thinking out of nothing, what am I actually doing? Wow, there's something like I was just chilling, too. There's a lot of cool encounters that we're going to be able to have access to. And that's something like I'm excited about. Because there's a lot to explore and a lot to do. But we might as well initiate this section and see you guys in the next one. Um, so you just gonna check all of our gym badges, make sure we have it. And in the next episode, it'll be 170. Um, I doubt Hop will be coming. It's only natural after such a humiliating defeat. There's no way he can look at the champion in the eyes. I'm sure he'll withdraw from the challenge now. Here, just look at the gym badges. I've already won. <laughs> Thank you, Challenger Beat. I can confirm you have the required badges. Anyways, I have a meeting with the chairman as well. I must excuse myself. Well, while he does that, we'll see you guys in the next episode of the Pokemon Saga Lock, where we, you know, discover the new sector that we got going on. So, I love you all so, 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 so much. Look at that beautiful city. Um, I am going to save the Encounters episode, I think. Um, because I don't know, like, I don't know the levels, and because of that, I'm a little skeptical. Um, but I will be able to investigate the wild area and get some of the poke or the items in there. But, yeah, this is a lovely, lovely area, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! Little skeptical! Um, but I will be able to investigate the wild area and get some of the poke or the items in there. But yeah, this is a lovely, lovely area, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.